Hi everyone, it's Jepsy and I'm one of your vloggers here at the Weight Loss Diaries. And this week's topic is Thanksgiving. But just to introduce myself, I am <clears throat> been here in the YouTube community since April. I actually had another channel called Jepsy G, but I actually closed it down to start fresh, new, and I came up with my current channel right now, Shrinking Mommy of Two. Um, I felt it suited me a lot more than just Jep CG. So I've been doing weight loss blogs since April <coughs> of 2009 and since then I have lost 22 pounds. Um, my starting weight was 269, my current weight is 247.4 so that's roughly about 22 pounds. And um, I just do calorie counting and portion control and you know trying to see what I can eat still indulge in what I like but just in a portion finding out when I'm full and stopping it's been a process it hasn't been easy I've tried almost every diet out there and it's not that it hasn't worked it's just that I have given up on it and I'm starting to take a new process in life if I start something um, do it till the end and continue um, I was overweight when I was small but not considerably to the point that I am now um, I, lo <coughs> I gained all this weight back in 2000 2003 when I got pregnant with my son I had my son, I think I lost like 20, 30 pounds, I was around 220, but after that I really didn't take care of myself, I didn't watch what I was eating, so I went up to my highs at 275. <clears throat> well, after like about three years of neglecting, neglecting myself and not wanting to weigh myself, I decided to join Weight Watchers and when I weighed myself and I weighed 275. I almost started crying. I didn't know my weight had gone so out of control. But I had myself to blame. I look at myself now and I think, okay, eating at 2, 3 in the morning, McDonald's, Burger King, Jack in the Box, KFC, and eating it in my bed and being 3 in the morning and eating it and going to sleep wasn't doing my body any good. So it was myself to blame for all those things that I used to do just to eat. I ate way too much. I wouldn't eat just one burger. I would eat two. All that made my weight just go up and up when I wanted to take control of my weight because I was not getting pregnant anymore. I decided, you know what, I'm going to give myself a break from trying to get pregnant and I'm going to concentrate on my weight loss. Uh, within a month of me getting into my weight loss, which I had lost maybe like 5 pounds because I wasn't even that serious about losing weight, I found out I was pregnant with my daughter. So what I did through my whole pregnancy was I eliminated the soda, I eliminated a lot of the greasy food. Okay. And <clears throat> I actually maintained almost throughout my whole pregnancy I maintained towards the end where I gained roughly about 10 pounds and I lost it really quick after having her I went back down to 270 again but even after having her and even after I had set myself to lose weight I yet wasn't there <clears throat> until I was diagnosed with gallbladder gallstones and they had to take out my gallbladder and I went through that whole ordeal it, it was something I don't wish to anybody and the pains I was going through was not even funny after I, I did that and I started watching YouTube videos I kinda started wanting to lose weight and was trying to get myself motivated but I just couldn't find anything that would help me get motivated so I spent almost a year and a half trying to figure out what I needed to do and in April I actually met a wonderful young lady here on YouTube that became my partner in crime and weight loss and she helped me motivate me 
to start losing weight. We were doing really good. But I kind of felt in the slump in August, and that's when I started doing low carb. I went back into losing weight. But just things were just getting out of control in my personal life. They were affecting with my weight loss. So September and October, I didn't really lose anything. I would just go up five pounds, down five pounds, up five pounds, down five pounds. But starting this November, I have... <coughs> I have just decided that I'm going to lose weight, I'm not going to give up, and if I eat something bad, then I have tomorrow to make up for it, and I do my best to do it. So, as of now, I'm loving losing weight, I'm seeing the scale go down, which makes me really happy. I am in a challenge right now, which half of the weight loss community is in, and it makes me happy. I, am, I started it, I'm not gonna finish until it's over and I'm not giving up this time so I'm glad to be part of it and I'm glad to be part of the weight loss diaries thank you Patty and Denise for letting me join and to all the other girls um, I've watched your videos you guys had a lot of good things to say and as far as the topic of the week I feel completely lost because this is my first year that I've been on a diet and I'm gonna go through Thanksgiving, all the prior years I haven't really cared. Yeah, I've been caring about losing weight, but I haven't been as motivated as this, as this year. The only thing I'm doing this year different is that this year I'm not going to anybody's house. I'm actually <laughs> still trying to convince myself actually to try to do my own Thanksgiving at home, cook the turkey, do the sides, but what I'm doing is I'm going to cook the turkey. Um, I'm not really going to pick and poke at how I'm going to do the turkey, but I'm going to make sure my sides are healthy. So I know that if the if I'm not eating good, at least if I eat too much tur turkey or something, I have some great, great sides. I'm making some steamed broccoli. I'm making some cauliflower mashed potatoes. Um, I'm also doing some things for the kids, like the stuffing and... Um, the bread and things like that and corn so I'm gonna try to have as much vegetables for dessert I'm still not sure what I'm gonna be doing but if I do something that might most likely be for the kids and my husband and I'll try to I want to buy myself a fruit platter so I have something even if I'm feeling something sweet I can get some vegetables or fruits just to, to make up for a pie or a cake or anything that has to resemble something that I shouldn't be eating but if in my case, if this year was like any other year that I was going out, all my advice or what I would do would be take my own plate, take vegetables, take fruits, um, measure what I'm eating, be conscious on what I'm eating basically, and let yourself indulge but not overindulge. I mean, it is a holiday. Yes, there is a lot of food, but you can still indulge on what you like. Just portion it. Portion is the key to success. And if you can, try something that you guys could do as a family, a sport or something. If it's not too cold outside or hit the gym in the morning, hit the track in the morning before all this. So go burn some calories. So what you eat, you can burn or you've burned already what you're going to eat. So that would just be my advice on for Thanksgiving I am really really new when it comes to preparing so hopefully my Thanksgiving goes good um, I will be making a video for next week also so I'll see you guys next Thursday and it, I'll let you guys know in two weeks how my Thanksgiving went and if I burnt the apartment down or not so see you guys next week and hope you guys have a great great week bye